Yeah, David and Amir, you know, if you are planning on being outside later tonight or even early tomorrow morning, well, you'll probably want to make sure you have on a good pair of gloves, a heavy jacket, something to cover your ears and probably a hat would be a good idea as well because these frigid temperatures aren't going away anytime soon. And tonight, these bone chilling temperatures have caused quite the problem. Can you remember when the last time it was this cold in downtown Detroit? Uh, you know, in Michigan, it probably wasn't that long ago. <laughs> this bone numbing winter chill is being felt by tens of thousands of people. I'm from Hawaii. This is crazy. Skaters at Campus Martius braving the freeze by putting on extra layers of clothing. Thermal underwear and uh, lots of hot chocolate. <laughs> and for snuggles. sure. Snuggles. And lots of snuggles. <laughs> Firefighters also staying busy battling flames on Detroit's east side while working in difficult conditions. You're moving slower, you're watching your step, you don't want to fall down. The lines freeze, we get wet and water freezes on us. Try to stay warm the best you can. Crews also dealing with a water main break in Madison Heights affecting hundreds of homes. The best thing to do during this winter freeze is stay indoors where it's warm. But if you do go out, prepare for it, dress warm. And again, Kevin mentioned it a little earlier, but if you do have pets, folks, listen up. Bring your pets indoors, at least for the night, because these freezing temperatures can really have an effect on them as well. For now, reporting live in downtown Detroit, I'm Alan Campbell, 7 Action News. Alan, thank you. Go get warm.